this session, we're going to talk about modifiers on the register and how we can select them in the new design. So I'll log in. I'm going to tap register. And from here, I'm going to tap an item. And we're going to do burgers. And we're going to do a simple burger here, bacon, egg, and cheese. And you'll notice when I tap this, we're now going to get a new group and we have three rows defined. We can have up to five, and this is customizable based on the item or groups of items. So you can see up at the top, I have size, heat, and sides. And in this instance, I am also doing a minimum and maximum of one each. I'll show you some other options in another view here in a moment. So I'm going to tap, uh, make it a half pound. I want it medium and I will take the sweet potato fries. Now down at the bottom, you'll notice that when we go into the modifiers group, which is indicated here by the uh, blue header, we have a couple different default options that come in. These cannot be changed. We have the go back button. If I tap this, it will prompt me to undo any changes and take me back to the tape. I can tap mods and this will take me to the regular mods which we can see here. I can tap the button again, which is relabeled to required mods, and it will take me back. From here, I can also add a note. And again, a note here, this is our special instructions or notes, which we can also add a price as we've done before. I'm gonna tap go back. I can remove the line, and I do that by simply tapping the line that I want to remove and tap remove, and this works for both for required and regular mods, and we'll change that to onion rings instead. I can clear all of my mods and start over without leaving the item, or I can mark it done. Now, special note, as before, any required mods, you must meet the minimums in order to mark the item done and continue forward. So we'll tap mods and we'll add a couple from here. Again, I'll tap add. I want to add red onions and sauteed peppers. And then we want to double up on the, the blue cheese crumbles that we want to add. I can also do a special instruction that has been predefined and I can tap special instruction. And from here, I can do some additional instructions if I want to done. And I'm going to make it Mike's way. Okay, once I'm done with my modifiers, I simply tap done. It takes me back to the ticket. From this point, I can add additional items. I can come back and modify this item, or I can simply send it to the kitchen or print it out if I'm doing quick service. So we're gonna send this one, and we're gonna get our receipt, and it's now in the kitchen for building. Now we're going to look at some additional modification options that we can do. So I'm going to log in again. I'm going to go to the register and at this point we're going to look at pizzas. They have multiple different pages that we can utilize for half topping, whole toppings, etc. So I want to show you some of that. So I'm going to tap all menu. I'll tap pizza. I'm going to do my New York style. I'm going to tap cheese. Now you can see here I've got all five columns defined and again up at the top it's giving me my sides, min max, um, I have some additional options before we had minimum one, maximum one on the three options. I can also do a minimum of one and a maximum of whatever, or I can choose a minimum of zero, meaning it's a required option. I have to select something uh, normally, but in this case, because it's zero, I can skip it. This is more of an upsell, just a reminder that we can do. We don't really have to select something out of this column. It's just here if we want to add it, but you can see I've limited it to two. They can only select two out of the column. So we're going to do medium. I'll take the original crust. I want to put marinara on it. I'm going to choose cheddar and mozzarella as my two cheeses. And I also want to have uh, some breadsticks on the side with that. Now again, I can clear these. I can remove the lines. I can add another line. And this is a new button. If I have the ma uh, maximum of two here, I've added one. If I want to add another line, I can simply do that by uh, adding two of these. I want a double order of breadsticks, or I can choose something else out of here. And again, that's what the add another means. If you have the capability in a min max, and it's greater than one, 
out of the columns that have those multiple options, if I want to double mozzarella, I can simply do add another and it would add uh, the additional item here. We're not going to do that. Uh, again, we have our notes, mods, etc. Same thing. Uh, I'm just going to tap mods. And then from here, you can see that we have our modifier pages defined. Now, if I wanted to add something to this, say a whole topping, I can simply tap whole topping. And we want to do roasted garlic and Canadian bacon. My first half topping I want to add, we're going to do ham and Italian sausage. And let's load it up. So we'll go ahead and do a second half topping. We're going to tap that. And we're going to do Canadian bacon and mushrooms. And again, we can set all of those up. And you see the navigation is very simple. It's all right here on the screen. Uh, and it's each item that's assigned to its uh, available topping for the modifier page, you would be able to add uh, that by simply tapping that modifiers page. We're going to tap done. It's going to take me back to the register. And again, uh, if my tape and everything is done and I don't need to do anything else with it, I can send it or go ahead and cash it out if it's quick service or delivery or we just want to send it to the kitchen. So we'll tap send. You can see here our receipt is the same. We've got our item, all of our modifications, first whole topping, first half, second half, all that will be listed just like it would normally. We'll close it. Okay, so there's no additional setup that you have to do in the system. If your items are already defined with modifiers, they're simply going to uh, work. The only difference that you're going to have is that when you're in an item, we'll go ahead and tap into one. You now have the capability to define up to five columns of required groups. So let's list something here. Uh, we'll choose one of our pizzas, chicken pesto. So we're going to manage our group. So in the past, we had four. Now you can see that we now have five groups that we can do. I only have the one for size defined. You can define all of these. You can set your min max for all of them as well. There's no additional setup to make the new modifier selection in the register. Um, work. It's just going to automatically work based on anything that you already have defined uh, when you update your system. Thanks for viewing the video.